What's up guys? This is now the, my new World War One 75mm shrapnel shell. Now, this isn't the fuse that came on it, this is just my number 85 from previous videos. Now, the fuse that came with this shell is the one in front which is in pieces. Now, this hasn't been finished taking apart yet, I still have that this bottom ring to take apart and to obviously clean up them bits. But, I wanted to show you these weird markings. Obviously that's number 85i. Now I've never seen a number 85i before. And if you look on here, on the number 85, it has a, a bottom ring there, a bump that comes off, and another bump there, on both timing rings. And this only has one bump. It doesn't have one on the bottom. It only has one on the timing ring. And notice how the Roman cross is in such good condition on this one, and it's in such bad condition on this one. Also, it has these markings on the the bottom, the very bottom ring, which I do not know what these are. I recognise the middle one for being the bird's foot. But I don't know why. Don't know why there's a number 13 in a circle. It also has no base plug, and the bottom's not been cleaned yet. Then obviously this ring, which is the same as number 85, but there is no date in them rings there. As on this one, there's a date on that ring, which is also quite unusual. And the same thing on the timer ring. There is no date inside there and there is on that one and this for some reason has no threads inside there so you cannot screw on it doesn't doesn't screw on it won't go on yet I hopefully will put some in it again and as you can see by how flat it is there it's obviously hit something really really hard so as I've said this one for some reason does not have a visible date there's plenty of numbers which I do not really know what they are but I know what some of them are but I really don't know what that is you can see that there it's like two X's put together in a circle it's almost like a runestone from the pagan religion if you know what that is but then moving on to the shell casing this is in very very good condition the complete drive band as you can see which is in very good condition it shows very detailed rifling there's no marks on the bottom although it could do it's just quite badly corroded and it, it could even have if I just get the light still has what looks like the tin cup in the very bottom of it that might not be the complete tin covers normally they do corrode away but as you can see it's not very thick the steel and if you look very carefully on the side it has been threaded but has worn away over the years and this looks like it has been buried at some time so it's not really surprising that the threads have gone but normally these types of fuse have fuse adapters which basically attach that to that but this one doesn't appear to need it and fits almost perfect so that's about everything this is my 75mm shrapnel shell and it's completely original from World War 1 that's it for now thanks for watching